Hi everyone, Ben here from musictheoryacademy.com. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at modes. We're going to ask the question, what are modes? I'm going to introduce you to the seven authentic modes. And then finally, I'm going to give you some examples of modal music. In the next lesson that's attached to this, we're going to have a look at how you compose in modes. So firstly, some background. What are modes? Well, we're used to listening to music that is primarily written in major and minor scales. But that's not always been the case. Before major and minor scales, we had modes. Now, modes dominated European music for over a thousand years, from about the year 500 until 1500. They were still really influential for another hundred, about another hundred years after that, until about 1600. But this is when major and minor scales uh, started to be developed. So as you can see, our major and minor scales are actually comparatively young uh, compared to modes which were around for a long, long time. Um, the modes originated in ancient Greece. That's why you'll find they're named after different regions. And each mode has its own distinctive uh, characteristic sound to listen out for. So let's have a look at the seven authentic modes and the easiest way to do this is by having a look at a piano keyboard. Now if I s start on the note C and I play all the notes above it till I get to the following C, a lot of you will recognize that as being a C major scale. Okay, it's very well known to us. But actually, originally, it was a mode. And the mode was called the Ionian mode. And it had a distinctive sound, which we're very familiar with. But it also had a distinctive series of intervals. So it went tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. So our, the Ionian mode, what we know as the major scale, um, had a key series of intervals, which meant you could actually play it starting on any note. You know, we could play it starting on G. We could play it starting on A. Okay, and you get the same scale. You get the same mode. That is the Ionian mode. So that's the first of the authentic modes that I want to introduce you to. The second one, let's try starting on D this time. And we'll repeat the process. We'll start on D, go to the D above it. Again, it has its own distinctive sound, and it is the Dorian mode. And it has its unique interval pattern. The Dorian mode is quite popular, actually. It's a really good mode for, um, for melody writing in, and you'll find lots of examples of the Dorian mode. Uh, if you want to have a listen to one, um, try listening to the folk song Scarborough Fair. That's a very well-known uh, piece of music, well-known song in the Dorian mode. Okay, let's repeat the process again. We're going to start on E this time. That's another mode, and that is the Phrygian mode, again, with a distinctive distinctive sound of its own. Okay, same process. This time we're going to start on F. Quite a unique sound to this one. This is the Lydian mode. Okay, those with uh, sharp ears will recognise that's the start of the theme tune to The Simpsons. Um, so worth having a listen to that. That was written in the Lydian mode. Let's repeat it again. This time we're going to start on G. You can feel with this one how we want to sharpen that, that, uh, that F, but it's not sharpened. And that is the mix Elydian mode. Okay, let's repeat the process again. This time we're going to start on A. Another familiar um, pattern of notes to us. This is called the Aeolian mode. Now we recognize this as the natural minor scale, but it was originally the Aeolian mode. Okay, one more note to go. With time we're going to start on B. A really distinctive sound to this one. This is the Locrian mode. 
So we've we've worked our way through seven notes there, starting on C, going up to D, going to E, all the way up. And those are the seven authentic uh, modes that you will come across. Now there are other ones called plagal um, modes which you can also play. Um, they're a little a little bit more in depth for this video. If you click on the link below the video at the end. Um, you'll be able to go onto my lesson on musictheoryacademy.com where I talk a little bit about plagal modes. But those are the seven authentic modes. So what have we learnt? Well, we've learnt these three things. We've looked at what modes are and the fact they came before major and minor scales. We've had a look at the seven authentic modes and you've got a few examples of modal music. As promised, in the next video, I'm going to have a look at composing in modes. Hope you find that helpful.